Hi, I'm a blood drop. I'm that stuff you see when you get a cut or a scrape. I'm constantly flowing throughout your body, and I keep your heart, lungs, and brain working. Without me, your body wouldn't be able to keep warm, cool off, fight infections, or eliminate waste. When people get really sick or in bad accidents, they often need blood donated by other people to feel better. And I'm going to tell you about the blood donation process. This is my home, the Big Red Bus. This is where healthy people called donors climb on board, roll up their sleeves, and donate blood to give to patients in our local hospitals. The human body has about 10 pints of blood, and donors give about one pint on the Big Red Bus. When someone gives a pint of blood like this one, it's broken down into three substances, red blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Each product goes to a different patient in the hospital, and that means you can save three lives each time you donate. When patients receive blood from donors, it's called a transfusion. And before a transfusion takes place, the donated blood is run through a battery of tests to make sure it's free of diseases that can make a sick patient even sicker. There are four different blood types, A, B, AB, and O. Each of these types are either positive or negative, and the patient and the donor must have compatible blood types in order to have a successful transfusion. In addition to being healthy, blood donors must be at least 16 years old and weigh at least 110 pounds. They also have to wait 56 days between donations to give their blood cells enough time to regenerate. I hope you enjoyed learning more about me and my home on the Big Red Bus. Giving blood is truly the best gift you can give someone because you're literally giving the gift of life. I look forward to seeing you when you turn 16.